guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about today's video. Today we are going to be talking all about the brand new Jaclyn Hill X Morphe Volume 2 collab. You guys, I created this sunset, grungy, smoky, blown out situation on my face right here using this gorgeous palette and you guys get to see how the shadows perform in real time get to hear all my opinions about this palette as well as other Jaclyn collaborations and yeah I was just so excited to sit down and play with makeup if you guys follow me on your Instagram you know I've been sick for the past couple of days so I'm sorry if I sound stuffy but yeah I was so excited to sit down and play with this this got on my doorstep today and we dove right into it baby all of these fun beautiful shades right onto my eyeball and I can't wait for you guys to see so if you would like to see me do my makeup using this palette and giving you all my thoughts feelings and emotions on it Then just keep on watching Alrighty, you guys the time has come to play with the brand new Jaclyn Hill times Morphe volume 2 palette you guys I am so excited to dive into this I haven't even let myself peek open at the box UPS dropped it off at my door this morning and I haven't even looked at it yet. Ignore my face. I know we look a little crazy right now. I did my base off of camera just for the sake of this video being a long one, I'm sure. So we wanted to get that out of the way. Plus, I want to focus on the eyes in this palette. So I'm going to do my first impressions and reveal with you guys right now. I'm a little nervous because this did come like a little open in the box and it didn't seem super secure so I hope no shadows are broken inside of here. I also have purposely not really watched any reviews on this palette. I only watched one and that was Nikki Tutorials. Um, otherwise I have stayed clear of people's opinions from this palette because I really just wanted to dive in and see how I liked it, what I thought of it, my true opinions and my true feelings on it. So with that being said, this is the packaging. I know it's probably hard to seal. It's very Jaclyn Hill, her white and her silver like she's always did. It's a very like glossy unicorn. And then on the back, we have this gorgeous photo of her. And I really like what she said on the back. It says, Morphe X Jaclyn, the past few years have been absolutely insane. So many highs, so many lows, amazing memories and tons of drama. Throughout all of it, my subscribers have always had my back. Thank you for loving and supporting me no matter what. This palette is to embracing the past, owning the present, and dominating the future together. I hope these shades make you feel strong, powerful, and loved the way you make me feel every day. XO Jaclyn Hill, which I think is so cute. I just, I love that. That's a cute little saying. And her makeup looks bomb AF in this, so... I'm super excited to dive into this. Um, I will say right off the bat that I am a Jaclyn Hill lover. I have all of her other palettes. I have her original Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, which is my favorite palette, like hands down, and is the palette that I always travel with. In fact, when they first came out with it, I loved it so much and knew it was gonna be like so bomb. So I bought two of them right off the bat. So I have two of the original packaging. That's what I use every day. I have one upstairs and one downstairs, and it goes everywhere with me. It's just like my favorite palette. I also have the Vault. I know that there was some drama and stuff surrounding that. However, I never had a problem with my vault. Mine works perfectly fine and I love it. Um, however, the, o the OG palette is definitely my favorite. Now, when I first saw this palette online, my initial reaction was actually that I wasn't really sure how I felt. Like I wasn't necessarily like gravitated towards the palette and I thought like, eh, like I think I might skip this one. But then the more I stared at it, I was like, no, that's actually like such a gorgeous color story. And then when she put her video out about, you know, how she made all the shades and stuff like that, I was like, ooh, there are some shades in there that I really want to try. So I picked up this bad boy and I'm going to stop rambling and we are going to jump right in. It is gorgeous. Here we go. All right. So it's nice and bubble wrapped. Ooh, okay, this is really nice. This is definitely just like a sleeker version of her original. Jaclyn Hill palette. Ooh, that's really pretty. It's got more of a like um, sheen to it, like a shine or a luster. So that way it's a little bit easier to clean off. I wonder, I think, let me grab my original one and see. So this is the OG OG Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette, like the first packaging that they went through. I know they changed packaging a ton, but this is the one that I have. As you can see, it has like the little emblems on the back. But yeah, this is the one that um, I have down here. I have another one upstairs that is much more loved than this one. This has been hands down my favorite palette ever. So without further ado, I'm excited to jump right into this. Okay, there's, I noticed that there's no um, shade names on the back so hopefully they're inside the palette I honestly can't remember but okay let's go <gasps> wow okay this is so pretty in person 
Whoa. Okay. Okay, it says, to all my loving subscribers who have supported me through all these years, this one is for you, XO Jacqueline. <gasps> Y'all, this is gorgeous. Oh my god, it is so much more vibrant in person. All right, I'm not gonna do any swatches or anything like that just because I feel like you guys can go find that anywhere else. I really just want to test these shadows and play with them on my eyes because that's where it really matters. But holy cow, I cannot get over this. This shade, my man, like this one right here and this one, they are so neon and so bright. Holy cow. There are so many colors that are speaking to me. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I lied. I am gonna swatch a couple that are just like catching my eye right off the bat just to show you guys. I see all of the new textures in here and the new formulas, so let's just swatch a few. I first really wanna swatch Ride or Diamonds, which is like a new formula. I'm in it. Let's also swatch, I gotta do this, my man. And then I also really wanted to swatch this red, living, live in my best because Girl, reds are hard and I'm excited about this. Okay, let me swatch these on my arm real quick. Okay, this is Ride or Diamonds. Oh, that's really pretty. This next one is I'm In It, which I can already tell like has an iridescence to it. Ooh, love that for like a good inner corner or brow bone moment. Okay, my man, this orange. Ooh. That is bright. And then this red. Uh, 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 it, what? Did you? Okay, I have to play with that red today. That is insane. Okay, let me swatch a couple more. All right, let's swatch this yellow, no joke. Ooh, that feels so buttery, so good. Let's swatch Therapy Sesh. Let's do Empowered. And let's do, this color crazy is really speaking to me. That looks so pretty. Okay, here is the yellow called No Joke. Ooh, that's really pretty. It's a really pretty yellow. Then this is Therapy Sesh. Whoa, guys, these are so bright. Like truly, truly like vibrant neon. All right, what was the next one? Empowered, another shimmer. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's like a nice cranberry shade with like some purple reflect in it. And then crazy. Oh my God. That is so freaking pigmented. <sighs> Holy cow. Wow. That is gorgeous. I don't know why I keep like leaning away. Like only my arm can be in the frame, but wow. Those are freaking beautiful. Oh my God, I can't wait to get these on my eyeballs. Okay. Okay, I zoomed you guys in a little bit closer just so we could see everything together nice and close up and you guys can see how the shadows perform. I am like overwhelmed with this palette. So many different ideas are going through my head and I, this palette is beautiful. This palette is beautiful. Okay, let's start. We're gonna prime our eyes using P. Louise Base as usual. Okay, I really wanna start off with this red called Livin' My Best. It's got like the tiniest amounts of like reflect to it. As you can see, there's a little bit of fallout, but that doesn't bother me. So take that with a grain of salt or how, how you wish. But I really wanna start with this color and kinda of set it in my outer crease and we'll just kinda of start there. Now, I know when she created this palette, she said she really wanted to make a red that didn't blend out into like a pink and she really wanted it to stay a true red, um, which is really hard to do. So I am excited to see if this is going to stay red as I blend it out. So far, so good though. Like the pigment is insane, as you guys can see that clearly. All right, now I'm going to take my man, which is the neon orange, and I'm going to buff this out a little bit. It's gonna kind of scratch at the edges and buff this out. Whoa, that is bright. Okay, these are for sure packed with pigment because I have barely used any product and it is still blending and still going. And that red is 
insane. Okay, so as I'm blending out the red, the flecks are kind of just like falling off and it's turning into a matte shade, which I really like. It definitely does blend out a little bit like any red eyeshadow would, but it is still staying really true to red and not turning like into a pink or anything like that. So, dude, that's freaking fire. All right, now I wanna add in some more depth with some purples in here. Let's go into Not My Journey, which is this gorgeous, cool toned purple. Again, this one has like slight, slight reflect of glitter in it. Wow. Oh my gosh, that has so much pigment to it, you guys. All right, this purple in particular is a little bit harder to work with. I wouldn't say it's hard to work with. I've worked with much harder purples in other palettes. It's just definitely more on a pressed pigment side versus like an eyeshadow. So you just kind of have to be careful with um, how you apply it. Tapping motions are honestly the best way to go. Like when I was blending it out, it started to become like slightly patchy and that's not what we want, obviously. So with these kind of shadows, I find that packing and just doing like light kind of like flicks as you pat does the work for you and it really just blends out the shadow really easily. This is one of my favorite brushes to do that. This I got this recently. This is a Morphe M434. It's like a flat but yet fluffy brush that is really good for packing on shadows and kind of doing this little like blend flick thing that I'm talking about. Ooh, I love a good purple eyeshadow. Like it is so sexy. All right, I'm gonna blend this out a little bit more using the bright yellow called No Joke. Ooh, that is pretty. That's a good yellow. Mm -hmm. That's a good yellow. All right, I'm gonna go back in with my P. Louise base and I'm going to cut my crease just a little bit. I'm gonna do a half cut crease. All right, our crease is now cut. I had no problems. That was super easy and super simple. I didn't even have problems when I ran into the purple. I just patted right on top of it and it blended like a dream. All right, I'm gonna go into Positivity next, which is this gorgeous like salmon peachy shade. All right, now I'm going to go into this shimmer called Flawed and Odd. This is a really beautiful shimmery shade. It's got like an, it's like an orangey gold bronzy, but it's almost got like some red-ish reflect to it. Like it's very, very pretty. It reminds me of like a very deep golden sunset. All right, so I'm gonna go in dry first and then if we need to spray it, we can. No, we don't. Alrighty then. All right, I think I'm actually gonna go in and cover up the middle section with this color called A Moment. Just because I'm not really liking the way that the peach looks in the center, I'd rather have something a little bit more vibrant. So I'm gonna go in with this right on top. That looks so much better. I just wanted to have more of a gradient feel, you know? All right, I'm gonna go back in with the yellow, the no joke, and blend this right in this inner portion. All right, I'm gonna take a flat brush now and dip into Not My Journey and a little bit of Crazy, and I'm going to pat this along my lower lash line and kind of bring in this deepness a little bit further into my eye. Ooh, that looks good. All right, now I'm just taking a clean blending brush. There's no product on here, and I'm really just dragging this out. I'm going to take a tiny bit more of Live In My Best, which is the bright red. And we're just gonna keep blending this out into our temples. All right, I'm taking the same red again a little bit more and slowly bringing it onto my lower lash line. I'm gonna blend that out with Therapy Sesh. Now I'm gonna take the shade I'm in it, which is the iridescent shade in this palette, and I'm gonna pop that on my inner corner and blend it down on my lower lash line as well. And last but not least, I'm gonna take the shade Certified, which I am so glad she put a bone cream shade in this palette because I feel like every single palette needs a shade like this. And I'm just going to lightly buff the edges to make sure everything is really smooth. Alrighty, you guys, that is one eye all complete using the brand new Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe Volume 2. 
this eye is a dream to me and it's gonna get even better when I pop on some lashes. So let me go ahead and do my other eye off of camera, pop on some lashes and I'll be right back. Alrighty you guys, and that completes this look. I popped on some lashes. These are the Batty B Lashes in the Style Batty. And I also popped on a very bold liquid lip. This is the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Savage, I believe. I don't know, it rubbed off. I think if I'm remembering correctly, that's what this is. But you guys, this is the look all complete. I went all out and did a blown out blush, dragged it into the eyeshadow. I actually used the iridescent shade from the palette as my highlight and I I am overall obsessed with this look, you guys. Now I wanna go over my final thoughts and opinions about the Jaclyn Times Morphe Volume 2 collection and just what are my overall thoughts and consensus about this palette. All in all, I really enjoyed this palette. You guys saw how it performed. There was no lying on camera. I mean, some of the shades I had a little bit of trouble with. Um, the one, Not My Journey in particular, which is the darkest cool tone blue. That one gave me a little bit of trouble, but at the same time, if you're used to working with purple shadows, you know what I'm talking about when it comes to this. Overall, the formulation in here is freaking bomb. Jaclyn always kills it. The original Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette is by far one of my favorite palettes, and this comes in close second. I just think the color story of this is absolutely stunning. I think that you can create so many different looks with this, and I also feel like it's a really good palette for really everyone. I know that when you look at this palette as a whole, all you see are bright neon colors, and that might scare you, but there are so many beautiful beautiful neutral color stories and also I feel like this is a palette that is perfect to explore color with. There's so many easy ways that you can wear color. It doesn't have to be extreme like this at all. Um, you know, just doing a wash of peach on the lid or any wash of color on the lid with just a little mascara I think looks so cute. So. All in all, I really like this palette. I'm excited to play with it more. I can't wait to dive into the new textures and formulas, but I do want to give a quick shout out to this red living my best girl. I have to say, this is probably hands down the best red that I've ever, ever played with. It is so, so, so good. It really doesn't blend out into anything but a red, which is so hard to do when formulating reds. So I am really, really happy with the shade. This was one of the main shades that like drawed me to this palette and was like, okay, I'm gonna purchase it. And I think for the price point of, I think mine was like 35 or $36 with shipping after I used a code, like that's incredible. Morphe continues to kill it over and over again. and. Yeah, I mean, I think that it's totally worth your money, and if you love Jaclyn, if you love this color story, if you love Morphe, then this is right up your alley, you guys. Oh, this is so good. Congratulations, Jaclyn, and congrats, Morphe, on this amazing collab. I was a little suspicious about it at first, just because I was like, oh, another Jaclyn Morphe collab, but this one really, really did that. I mean, it did that, you guys. So I think that's all that I have to say about this palette. Ooh, I am feeling this look right now, darling. So I'm gonna go put this away, but I'm really looking forward to playing with that more. If you liked this look and you wanna see more of me playing with this palette and other looks, then don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And while you're here, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you get notified every time I upload. And yeah, guys, that's basically it. Let me know in the comments down below, have you purchased this palette? What are your thoughts and feelings on it. I'd love to hear your feedback and I'll see you next one.